this is what your one box look like um i kind of spilled some coffee coffee up top so don't don't worry about that part but this is your one box inside there if you take these bolts out this little plate inside there that's where your dpf filters are there's two of them and this is your uh, inlet knock sensor and your outlet is on the outside but I have mine I don't know if you guys seen the other video I made before back last year I actually have it outside because I was having issues so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that knock sensor and go ahead and see what that does um, I can't really tell if it was the knock sensor I know I change well, I haven't changed the out, the exhaust, or I mean the outlet knock sensor on this truck yet. So, I just put it outside because I really didn't have a whole lot of time to do it. Like, to do it right then. The, to do the, Doing the knock sensor is not easy. You have to, what I do is I cut it, I put a socket through, and then just try to beat it out of there. Because these things are tough to get out. Here's the old outlet knock sensor the reason why I cut them <coughs> because when you put a crow's foot on there these things are not easy to come out so you want a whole grip you want a whole socket on there to get it in there and real tight a crow's foot will have a little opening right there and then it flexes so that ain't good for you that's why you need your little trusted little tool now there's a there's cores on these now last time I did it all they needed is this part it's just the bottom part they don't need the knock sensor side they just need this bottom part so hopefully this time that's all they need too we will see I mean I don't need I don't know why they would need this part they just need really this part to where they they cut it and rewire it and whatnot so I think that's all they need but other than that, we got it out, and this is my backup outlet knock sensor. I'm going to keep this for as a backup and buy another one, bring that in. And hopefully, hopefully, it's going to prevent me from having any more issues. I don't think that, I don't think necessarily that's the whole thing, but that part definitely is causing the outlet knock sensor is definitely, I think, has some issue, but may not be 100% the, the issue. I can't seem to get this thing done, and it is bright outside today. <clears throat> I'm still a little, feeling a little under the weather, but look at this crap. Oh, wow. My stuff fell. Look at this. Okay. I'm pretty sure... So I'm pretty sure last time I bought a, uh, oh no, it's too bright out here. But anyway, I'm pretty sure last time I brought a knock sensor, specifically outlet, it didn't cost 533 with the core. This one is 533 with the core. I think they're price gouging us because of all of these parts shortage and whatnot. That's okay. It's okay. So. I went ahead and bought a new bought a new outlet knock sensor because I want to put a new one on there and check it out and then keep that one the one I have on the outside keep that for backup so here's a trick when you're trying to put this thing back on right it goes right in there it's your outlet knock sensor you can use a crow's foot when you're putting it back on because when you when you're putting it back on you don't need it's not gonna be on there real tight and you don't have to put it on there real tight so you're putting it in it's not gonna be it's not gonna be as hard as taking it off so you don't need a socket you just need a regular crow's foot you don't gotta over torque it it's just it's it's gonna do it's uh what it's supposed to do, you just tighten it by feel. Um, you probably there's probably a torque spec on this. I would say maybe around 35, 38 foot pounds probably. But 
It shouldn't be no more than that. If it's more than that, not too much more. Actually, that was my mistake. This is the kind of tool you need. I've had this one all along. I didn't think I was gonna have any use for it because it flexes too much on this end. But this is actually the tool you need for the outlet knock sensor because of this lip. This lip right here is preventing you from using a regular crow's foot. Look at that, I learned something new today. Believe it or not, I'm getting too old for this crap, man. <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys something over here. You see this little connection? You gotta be careful with them. So these connections, you put a screwdriver through, like just a flat tip, and push it out. And then that pulls down. So just kind of be careful with them. See, and same thing with that. So that goes in and out, just like so. Just be careful with them. This one already broke, they're very fragile. All right, so when you're putting it back together, make sure you tidy it up. You don't want nothing vibrating or shaking, because the amount of shake that this engine does, it shakes that, it rattles it in there, and the next thing you know, you got a kink wire or you got a exposed wire and whatnot. I'll probably put one more right there.